Right. Uh, good evening. Um, I was going to upload a video about how to do outlines using the document camera. However, I kind of feel like, eh, why bother? Today is Native American Day in the great state of South Dakota Day. Uh, and so I figure, why not take some time to relax? I know that my students will be relaxing today and tomorrow, while teachers have to return to work tomorrow. I'm not too particularly thrilled about their return to work, but you know, that's how it is. Holidays, holidays uh, just seem to go by too quick. But I figured, why not do something a wee bit different and upload something that is completely and utterly off-duty? And so I decided to upload something that, um, some video game footage I recorded to test sound systems. And I really don't have any academic use for it, but I've discovered that's not why people are on my channel. They're mainly there to see their, see their teacher do, do f weird stuff and play video games. So without further ado, a hat in time. Alrighty, so, a hat in time, one of my favorite video games. Uh, I recorded this without commentary because I was playing it at a higher difficulty level than I'm used to. But, um, I recorded this initially to test the sound settings and test the over-narration feature. So I actually recorded this long before my YouTube channel was ever established. But, Death Wish, Beat the Heat. This is not my first attempt at this, I will admit. Uh, but this is one of my better attempts, I guess. But, nope. So I kind of skipped through everything because I've already heard the spiel and I want to be playing. Basically, save the day, turn on the water spigots, turn off the lava. Um, don't burn to death. Very straightforward. First to dip in the pool. We got a spigot to knock out right here. Right. I did a fair amount of video game recording without any particular purpose, just to kind of figure out, okay, what do the sound settings need to be at? Um, how, how can I incorporate video editing? How can I get better at playing video games? Um, some of those things I actually might have achieved. Probably not the ones I wanted. Anyways, as you can see here, we're having a grand old time, um, well, messing things up. And, oh, that was close. Yeah, I'll give it a few smacks with the umbrella, and now we need to get out of here before we burn to death. Um... This was long before I had the ideas of a lot of things. Um, it occurred to me I could make educational videos on things. That would be the bread and butter of my channel. Um, but this is the kind of stuff that I would play in my free time, more likely. Oregon Trail is fun, but to be brutally honest, I really prefer more of these action platformers and other video games, such as Monster Hunter World and various other things. But, you know, my I mainly run an educational channel, but I did admit that not everything will be educational. But, let's see here. I'm doing really good with this run. No. Actually, this is probably, th this video game is probably the one that inspired me to start developing um, educational videos for YouTube. I've watched a lot of Let's Play videos of A Hat in Time, um, what is it, City Skylines, Monster Hunter World, and SCP, um, I forget which SCP game it was, the multiplayer one. And those kind of inspired me to think, hey, I could make educational videos that um, I actually already, uh, I, that I could post online. Uh, so inspiration comes from some of the strangest places. I'm sure if the people who are far more famous than me were to ever hear, yo, yeah, you inspired a teacher to make educational videos, they would be very surprised and perhaps a bit concerned that a teacher was watching their videos. 
I won't reference who they are, but um, they're all quite comical and significantly funnier than me. Um, I'm just a parody, but I've always learned that it isn't... You don't have to be the best at things. You don't even have to be the most original at things. Uh, the mere fact that you do them and make them available is pretty good in many cases. Up the ladder we go. We gotta get to that water bucket or we'll burn to death. Um, but cooling off a bit, figuring out where to go next. Uh, I think this was my second or third attempt at trying to beat this one. But I don't always have the greatest depth perception. I should have landed on that rail. Cool off in the tub for a bit. This is the hardest spigot. This was the reason why I didn't beat it on my first run. I could get all three of them. But this last one's the one. That's, this one's a bugger. This is literally just hanging over the edge. You can't afford to miss. And... I almost miss. Way too close. Also, it's really far away from a water bucket, so... Or a pool. So, I'm not out of the woods yet. Anyways, I already had the state of the channel thing uploaded, so I don't really have anything new to contribute to how my channel's doing. Um, but... No, so I figure on, on to increase my uploading quantity, I might start adding a few completely non-academic videos like this. If you're interested in that, you can put it into the comments. I'll read them. I do enjoy reading them. Um, but as for things I'm working on, I'm sure if you heard about the development diary of the Industrial Revolution, that project is going to be a bit behind schedule. I've had a few more things come up than I expected, so I would have liked to have been able to present some stuff on the Virtual Museum on Wednesday when we're back in school, but I'm not going to be that far along. I still have to go through the submissions that were submitted at the last minute, and I've got uh, and I haven't finished that, and I've got 22 of those to go through. Also, I'm expanding the museum. I'm going to build another museum using um, my Ancient Civ Encyclopedia of the Ancient World project. Uh, they kind of know about this, but they're writing, they're, their activity is a bit different. Um, they're researching different topics on um, ancient civs, and so I'm going to dump all their stuff into a museum as well. I keep being told I should set up like a Minecraft server. Um, I don't know how to do that at all. Uh, something to consider maybe in the future. Oh well. Anyways, it looks like we have mission accomplished. Way to go, hat kid. Um, and with that, enjoy the remainder of your holiday, Native American Day, in the great state of South Dakota. Um, I suppose... Until later.